<laughs> so welcome back or welcome to the, welcome for the first time. My name is Tiffany Loken. I am a first year first grade teacher here in Arizona. It is the end of Monday. I'm going to try to weekly vlog today. So it's Monday. I have a staff meeting. We have a staff meeting um, once a month and that is today. So I just printed my agenda. I'm going to go run potty real quick and I'm going to go ahead and get like my notebook which I had it on my desk and then I had to clean up so now I need to find it. It was here somewhere, but I wanted to get started on my weekly vlog. I didn't have time this morning because we were just rushing. So, but today was an adventure, that's for sure. Last Monday we didn't have a school, so I haven't felt a Monday in a little bit. Um, and today was pretty crazy, wild, just super wild. All the kids were super wild and it wore me out but it's okay I didn't have very many like behavior issues today which was really good because usually I do I have quite a bit of behaviors in my classroom which I didn't really have to deal with today I dealt with some funky ones today of kids that don't usually give me a hard time or giving me a hard time today but I think it's just because we have a regular week we've had a fun run we've had Halloween we've had fall break we've had like all these different things and so it's been really hard getting back into a schedule and a routine so today is the start of that and I felt a little bit of pushback which was fine but I wanted to hop on I am gonna go now that I took my glasses off I can't see what time it is um, but I'm gonna go get ready for my meeting but like I said I just wanted to um, hop on and say hi and I will try to check in after my meeting today and then I'll see you guys tomorrow which is Tuesday so I'll see you guys later all right so I just got back from the staff meeting which was really good it was a short one today and we do this thing called a coke and a smile so they have these little cokes see how you celebrate someone so I had gotten one after my like parent teacher night and then this one I got just from the sped department um, for how I'm working with my sped kids so I thought that was really nice that they would like honor me in the meeting and so um, I'm really excited about that also in the meeting just to show their appreciation the principal bought cake and lemonade for everyone I, um, that was really nice too and it was a really short meeting like I said usually they run like an hour and this one was only a half an hour and so it was a really good one with a lot of like celebrations and stuff one of the big celebrations is that we are an A rated school I was really excited about that that we got an A because I think we deserve it and so got my celebration um, they bought cake and uh, I almost said pizza, cake, and lemonade. We got an A, and we got out early. So I'm going to go ahead and head home now. We did take a foundation test today, so I'm going to take that home with me and grade it. I do still take stuff home to grade, I know. But I'm going to go ahead and pack up everything and go home and spend some time with my family and make dinner. I don't know what we're going to have. Connor, what do you want for dinner? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. He doesn't know. So we're going to have to talk about it because I do not plan for dinner. I wish I did, but I did not. So I wish I was one of those people that would make like a weekly menu. I've tried it before and it didn't work. So I don't know. I wish I was one of those people and make it a lot easier, but since I don't, we have to figure it out each day. So we're going to go ahead and pack up. Connor's going to pack up and then we are going to go home saying hi morning it is Tuesday I have about 10 about 10 minutes before I have to go to duty um, I'm wearing my thread tank shirt that was in one of my other videos that I love uh, the principal said that we get jeans until Thanksgiving so I'm very excited so that means I can wear like my teacher tees and stuff like that because I typically can't wear those during the week but I'm getting ready for some stuff to do today and I bought a really cool file um, we do wonders I'm in first grade obviously um, and we're on unit three week three right now and so 
I found like this cute one that they can practice. And then I think the kids will like this one where you spell the words out and then figure out how much they're worth based on like another paper, which I have up there already. And then my kids love correcting sentences. I don't know if yours do, so I found this. I'm not too excited about the picture, um, but they're gonna practice commas and punctuation, and then a word search, and then all the in, the un, like the words that are, in, the letters that are like not colored with part of the word spell out a special word, so I like that. And then my kids don't really like to write, and so I thought maybe getting a cute thing, <laughs> would help them want to write we'll see i don't know um yeah so i don't know we'll see this week is like soft g soft c different endings past present tense so um we're gonna try to incorporate all of those but that's what i'm doing this morning i'm very proud of myself i picked up the camera today and my room looks a mess um so during my prep, I have prepped like first thing I'm going to try to get up and not give you guys a headache. Um, I have prepped first thing in the morning. Well, not really. So the kids come in for like 15 minutes and then I have prep. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. Yesterday we wrote about if I was on the Mayflower, what would I do? Because that's our social studies unit right now. So every day we write on our agenda. So today is Tuesday. So our agenda has the date and then it's the 19th I believe I could be wrong and then so we are going to um, work with my and then my writing is not the best. <laughs> Every Tuesday during our grammar block, we make flashcards. So I have them, I'll show you. I have them all printed out as I try to put the cap on this marker one-handed and I'm getting marker all over myself. So we'll just wait, marker all over. Um, so I just made this in PowerPoint. Each week I just change the words and I put what unit and what week so the, that can be the front. And then during our grammar block, the kids will cut those up or, you know, cut them out. And then they take them home. And then the idea is that they'll be really excited that they got them or that they did them. And then they will want to share it with their parents. And then their parents will help them. Sorry, I'm looking for my other marker. So most of my parents are really good about it. And I totally get it. I'm a parent. I have two kids. And some nights are tougher than others. So um, I get it. But that's the idea. That they will be excited and want to go home and want to work on them. So we shall see. And I don't know if you guys do this. When we have a, whoa, when we have like an early release day, I change my schedule and then it takes me like days to put it all back up. It's all magnetic, but it's still a pain. I wish I had kids that were able to do it for me because they, they would honestly love it for a job, but they just can't reach and then some of them can't decipher time yet. We're working on it, so. But I'm just gonna get my room ready for the kids. Like I said, I have duty and like now it's seven minutes, five minutes. So I'm just gonna try to tidy up. <coughs> and then um, I do have a, like a classroom cleaner job. Um, and so they will help kind of tidy up in the morning once they're done writing in their agenda. So that's nice too. I really like it. I typically forget to utilize them. So that's my fault. Also, my supply manager needs to sharpen pencils. They're the only ones that are allowed to sharpen pencils. So we need to get that going too. My camera work is probably really sketchola today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, but I'm trying. So, um, 
yeah, so I'm trying to pick up the camera. Sorry if I just gave you whiplash and a headache and a migraine and everything for my camera work, but I'm gonna go ahead and just finish a few things and then get out to duty. It's supposed to be really cold today, really cold for Arizona, it's like 60 right now, and it's supposed to rain later today and rain for the next couple days, so I'm excited. However, I have outside duty on Friday and it's supposed to rain, but I'm not like equipped for that. I don't even think I have a jacket with a hood. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I don't usually put my makeup on at work, but I am. It's still before contract hours. Um, and I got in, and now my computer needs to do updates. So that's just where we're at with life today. It is raining. I love it. My kids actually love indoor recess. And so they were excited yesterday because it was sunny and We've all been, we've been looking at the forecasts and everything because we live in Arizona. We don't get rain all that much. So um, the kids have been really excited. So we've been checking the forecast and everything. And we knew it was set to rain yesterday. But it didn't say that it would rain like during school hours. But right before we went out for our morning reset or our afternoon recess, it started raining. So my class was super excited. And um, so we got to stay in for that recess. And I think the kids like it because in the beginning, whoa, that was loud, that scared me. I didn't mean that. It's up here, fine, it just scared me. Are your headphones not working, bud? I, it just, the plug came out. Oh, came out. Um, I think they like indoor recess because that's what we started off the year with. Like I said, we're in Arizona. And so in the beginning of the year, we usually have um, heat warnings, like excessive heat warnings. And so, oh, my computer's up. Excessive heat warnings in the beginning of school. So in the beginning of the year, we start with indoor recess. And so I started them. Sometimes we would dance, but we dance quite a bit in my room anyways as just when they start to get antsy we do like a little bit of a brain break get our bodies moving and um but for most indoor recesses i still want it to be educational so we watch brave wilderness and you get to learn about animals we can learn about like dinosaurs and it's this guy named coyote peterson and i love his channel and then his camera crew the two guys they have their own channel called blue wilderness where it deals with like i don't know blue the ocean and stuff like that but the kids love it and they've been asking me for weeks if he had new episodes and i said yeah but you know we go outside we're outside now we don't have excessive heat warnings it's fall here so the weather kind of feels like I don't know, our fall is kind of like spring. Some days it still feels like summer um, in typical places, but it's still like kind of nice weather. Um, so we go outside and so they want to go, they want to stay in and watch Coyote Peterson. Anyways, this is a very long story for something very short, but so anywho, they were excited to stay in yesterday so we could watch some new episodes of Coyote Peterson. We didn't get to finish all the episodes, or the new episodes, so we are going to watch another one today because it's raining, so they'll be super excited to find out that they get another indoor recess, and I don't know, I just think it's going to be a good day. We'll see. I always start each day thinking it's going to be a good day. Sometimes it's not. Yesterday, I also started, so I've been doing table points since about the second month of school or whatever. And at the end, how my table points work, I try to front load on Monday because that way I can take away points or whatever when they're talking or not listening or up from their seats. And it works, but I mean, if we start on Monday, by Tuesday they're kind of over it. And then by Friday, they do want treasure box because that's what the winning team gets. But 
it just has not been as effective. So I changed it up yesterday and I did it where we do table points twice a day. So the first half of the morning until lunch, so from arrival to lunch, they can earn table points. Right before we go to lunch, the table with the most points gets two class dojo points. Then I erase them. And then when we get back from lunch, I start over from zero. And it's only the first day, or yesterday was only the first day. However, the kids were more engaged. They were super excited. I thought it can go either way, you know, when you change something in class, it can either be like, yay, that sounds fun, or ugh, oh, why are you changing it? So I was happy that they were excited. And I think it kept them a little bit more motivated during the day because they knew that it would reset. So if they're not winning, they don't give up. They know that before lunch, it's going to be reset. So then they can try again instead of acting out or what have you. So I'm excited to see how it goes today. Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard. Um, I love when you can hear the rain. I'm totally like an Arizona girl. I lived in Southern California before this and it also doesn't rain that much there. I mean, it rains more than it does here, but anyhow. So now my computer's back up. I'm gonna get ready for today. I have, we're learning about place value. And so I'll show you when that's all the way done. One of the teachers on my team gave me these and so I'm gonna cut them out and then that way the kids can put them all together. And it has the base 10 blocks, the number, and then how to spell it. So I think the kids are really gonna like that. We've been talking about place value this week. We started it last week. Um, some of my kids still just need number sense, so I have some other games for them. But I'm gonna see how those go today, but I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so I just want to check in real quick. I just got to work. It's a little before seven. Um, it's raining really hard. I have to move some of my tables around because I have a, a ceiling panel that is like bowed and wet. So I'm gonna try to move this around right now. I left my makeup here again, so I'm gonna try to do it. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and get my day started and I will check in with you guys later and go over kind of like my mentor meeting yesterday. I have a mentor meeting today again um, because we didn't get to finish. And so I'll go over all of that stuff later, um, but I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so a lot has happened this week. I'm gonna have to like insert it in. I'm literally sitting on the floor right now because a lot of people are walking by to go like home. Um, it's Friday afternoon. My battery light is flashing right now. I'll probably have to finish this at home once the kids go to bed and just kind of recap my day. But I met with my mentor Wednesday and Thursday and we talked about our, my upcoming observation. I had extra kids in my class yesterday, um, which was totally fine. One of the teachers on my first grade team had to leave for an emergency. Her daughter got sick in the middle of the day and she had to go. And so we split up the kids. Um, I had a leak in my roof, so I had to move my room around anyways. And so when I got the extra kids, I couldn't put them at like desks or anything. So we sat. Um, so it was a lot, but I will check back in after I charge my camera for a little bit once we're home and talk about everything. But I hope you have a good week, or I hope you had a good week. I hope you like seeing this. Um, it was pajama day, so I'm wearing like sweats. And I have my hair, you can't even see. I have my hair up in a bun um, today. And I have it like up kind of funky because I have such short hair, but um, yeah. Hey guys, so, <clears throat> so I had a heck of a week last week. I'm actually at Walmart. I'm in the Walmart parking lot and it had dawned me on the way over here that I had never like finished my vlog for the week and I tried my hardest to pick up the camera every day and um, twice a day because my goal was to do it 
like before school started and after school it did like once I got in from pickup and everything that was my goal to do it sorry if you hear my heater I am a wimp and it is 51 degrees here in Arizona today and I need it, the heater in my car um but I it was a blur but I tried my best to pick up the camera every morning um you know I tried my best to pick it up after school and I was going to give you a recap on Friday but my battery was running low I did not charge it I was not prepared so I don't know but just to kind of like end this vlog and um I don't know yeah in the vlog and just kind of recap my week um let's see I scheduled my formal observation with our vice principal um, each member of admin was I don't know if they were assigned to a team or they chose a grade level whatever but the same admin is doing all of first grade so we all get our assistant principal I scheduled that it is in two weeks and I decided to schedule it for math the observation will be for an hour so I'm a little nervous but like I was telling him because I picked the last possible day I said what's the very last day that you can have an observation I want that one and after like two minutes of me explaining that I'm serious because he goes no you're kidding I said no I'm serious he goes are you being sarcastic because they they are getting to know my personality now and it's like no listen I'm not being sarcastic I'm not being funny I need the very last day possible I just want he's like you don't want to like just get it done I have it this week and get it done and over with no I want to prepare I want to think about it I want to make sure I'm ready and he was he had said you know we're in your room all the time because of some of the severe behaviors I have he's like we're in your room all the time I said yeah you are but it's basically for my special needs kids or my severe observations like or not observations my severe behaviors that are in there so it's not like you're not always observing me you may be observing how I am handling those things which I've been told I've been you know doing a good job and all of this but I don't think they're often in there watching how I teach I think they're a lot of times watching how I'm handling certain situations and stuff and I've had informal informal observations where I've gotten feedback and I've had to have those meetings and stuff but like this one is more legitimate where I have to come up with a full lesson plan we have a pre observation meeting I believe we have the observation we have a post observation meeting so there's a lot involved and it's an hour and he had asked me if I was sure that I wanted to do math because a lot of teachers pick ELA well in first grade our ELA block is three separate subjects or see three separate blocks so we transition twice my sped kids cannot transition my behaviors cannot transition so our transitions take longer than normal I've gotten them down a lot since we've started the year but it's still I'd rather just not go through all of that even though they know like this particular admin knows that and that I've improved and these you know these things but I just don't want that to be formally looked at for my observation plus my math block is an hour that's how long they're gonna be in there and my class loves math I can give them manipulatives for ELA and we can do fun stuff at ELA but it's they never have as much fun or absorb as much or participate as much as they do in my math block and my black math block is longer which you would think it would kind of fizzle out toward the end and it doesn't sorry for like the lighting in here but at my house my kids are crazy this morning they are just wild we are having summer parties this morning and we're watching Doc McStuffins on Disney Plus and so we're all hyped up we they've dumped out all the toys we have all the blankets it's just a mess so I had to come return some stuff to Walmart so I figured I'm just gonna end my vlog while I'm in the Walmart parking lot and it's quiet 
<laughs> and so, um, but yeah, so I did that, met with my mentor about that. I meet with her every month and then she's so sweet and she's just so helpful. She's willing to do anything. She'll write me every once in a while and go like, hey, do you need your bulletin board changed? Or do you need help with this or help with that? Or do you need copies made? Like she is just amazing. And yet on Friday, she brought me flowers from her garden and a nice card just telling me like how great of a job I'm doing and it was just really really nice and that was my week it was rainy the kids loved indoor recess typically the other classes love to go out for recess my class was actually really looking forward to the rain because they love indoor recess we watch uh, brave wilderness and we just have fun and it's relaxing and they learn and I don't know They'd, they would just rather be in the room. And we had pajama day, and so it was really neat. It was a good week. I was excited for a full week to get back on track. We did not get back on track. But thank you guys for following along on my first weekly vlog. I have some older videos that I will also post, but I'm gonna post this one first. And then I have, I don't even know what other videos I have. I have a video of when I went to a teacher store on fall break, it's like a teacher, I don't know, I'll explain it in that video. I have one talking about like teacher tired and then yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching, like always. Thank you so much. I love the tribe that we have on here and I love that everyone comments and replies to each other. And um, yeah, I just love it. People started walking by and are staring at me. So I'm gonna go in. Thank you guys for following along. Sorry I have not been on here very much. It has just been wild. But I have some things coming up that I'm excited about that I will do for my videos and I will share. So I hope you guys had a good week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.